All right, one, two, three, four. All right. Uh, how y'all feeling? All right. Go. Mm. Here I am, brother. Let's go. Wow. Maybe I'm not used to this, but we could do it. Here I am, brother. Look, can I be honest? I promise that I'll be what I ought to be and be modest. Prophets say that prophets only profit in their pockets, saying God told me this, but I doubt they know who God is. Zero to a hundred real quick, boy, problem started. Cause all I'm seeing is your pride and your problem solving. Like what's the point of helping others if you keep asking for something? Yo, zero to a hundred real quick, boy, all or nothing. Zero to a hundred real quick, boy, all or nothing. Cause all I'm seeing is your pride and your problem solving. All I'm seeing is your pride and your problem solving. All I'm seeing is your pride and your problem solving. Woo! Soothe sessions, 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 and I'm my, my lips, my lips are lip syncing. My lips are, what do you call that thing again? Um, where you stutter, those people who lisp, stammer, like they stammer, they lisp. My lips are lip syncing and my lips are lisping. All right, soothe, sessions by soothe. How y'all feeling today? I guess I'm talking to one person in the house, but thank you, thank you. I got 10,000 people in the back just, you know, shouting my name. I can hear y'all. I can hear y'all. That's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. All right, all right. So my name is Aziz, and uh, this is, uh, I keep mixing it up, man. Is it Soothe? Se no, it's Sessions by Soothe, all right? That's what's up. Sessions by, session. Yeah. My lips are lisping in this. Mm -hmm. All right. I, um, I'm going to tell you a story real quick. I got friend zone last Easter. And it was the worst feeling ever. I'm sure some of y'all can't relate. I'm just kidding. People like Vaughn can't relate. All right. Oh, wow. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. So I decided, I decided to write about it and share my experience because I know people like um, people like the DJ, I don't want to call his name, but I'm real tempted to call his name. No rhythm. But okay, people like no rhythm, wow. you know, can relate to like being friend zone. So this one's for you, bro. Thanks, man. And I, and I hope, I hope uh, you enjoy this one from, from the heart of one man to the heart of another. Don't take that wrong fight. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to learn today. It's called friend zone. <clears throat> it's still in my memory. It was summertime. I told her I liked her and she said she felt the same way, but for another guy. So I put my hurt aside and let her decide. I told her I was interested. Her response only hurt inside. She said, I wish I could say I felt the same way. I don't know what's worse, that or the fact that she said it with a smile. So now's the time for me to decide, cause in my mind, her heart is next to mine. Should I drop it or just take the friend zone? Cause at this point, even our texts are dry. Speaking of texts, I wrote a text. I wrote a text. Fellas, I wrote a text, then I read the text. You know, we don't read text, but I read the text. <sighs> Should I send the text or forget the text? Should I just send it or just forget about it? I sent it. I sent the text. Then I read the text again, quickly deleted that text. Then I reviewed the text, and you know what, just forget the text, just deleted the text. I thought of her, thank you, next. I got more grande problems to deal with. Anyone caught that? No? Grande problems, thank you, next. Okay. Got it. Come on, I deserve some of this. Nah, y'all, y'all stop. I work too hard on my poems. Give me all ten fingers, please. Come on. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right. Thought of her, thank you, next. Listen, I couldn't tell her I loved her if she already got feelings for another. That's just us. We're afraid of rejection. Except if you're Antiguan. But I'm white. A white man can't jump. I got no hang time. Antiguan man be like, yeah, I'm no. I know you have a man, but choose him love to see you for a long time. But anyway, back to the text. I know I started to delete the text, but you know iPhones work when you put things in notes and you delete it to give you a period of 30 days or so? No? Okay. Give you a 30-day 30, 30 period or so, and then somehow they, they think, your phone thinks that you probably want to restore the text. Newsflash, I found the text. 
Newsflash, I restored the text. I know I've been talking about the text, so I kept the text. I know I've been talking about the text. I don't know you want to hear the text. So here's the text. I got the text. I got the text. Based on a true story, fellas. Here's the text. The last thing I do is call you beautiful because you're not. How could you be beautiful when everything else around you is? You're not everything else. At your best, you're far from beautiful. At your least, you're above it. Beautiful is the worst adjective to describe you because you're way above that and beyond everything else. You're not beautiful. You're more than that. Way more. If beautiful cannot describe who you are, then there is no adjective I can ascribe to your heart. They say seeing is believing, and I really wish you would have seen it. That was the text, but I guess she ain't seeing it. Yeah! Um, so, uh... So uh, that, um, that was heart-wrenching for me to write, I'll be honest with you. Thank you, bro. I know you can relate because that's you right now. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. All right. Yeah, no, I have a, I, I've learned that my problem with woman is two, all right? Women want three things in a man. They want tall, dark, and handsome. I only... Barely cut the hands on but I'm not tall, ain't dark either. All right, so I'm like one and a half. Oh, no, not one and a half. I'm like 0.5 out of three. And so that's my struggle. But I've embraced it. You know, when I was a kid, I was like, you know, God, I was like praying. I was like, God, I just want to be six feet tall. I didn't really expect him to give me size six feet. Not, you know, when I said six feet, I didn't expect him to give me size six feet. But no, but you know what? I can, I can testify, guys, you know, that, you know, he turned that six into a nine, so like, my birthday coming up later in the year. Give me that size nine Nikes, please. Right, Taz? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Then again, Sessions by Soothe. I have an XP coming up, coming up. It's called Confessions of a White Boy. <sighs> Hope y'all enjoy this, because y'all y'all finna laugh at me right now. It's cool. Boy, it's hot, but it's cool. Man's, uh, man's not hot. Man's not, is, did I say it right? Man's, yes, man's not hot. Yes, All right, let's get it, let's get it. <clears throat> oh, who lives in the pineapple under the sea? But I'm sure that pineapples don't grow under seas. <laughs> Probably you might be something as, Probably might see it as something you oversee, but I find it strange Antiguans only take vacation overseas. Then go to the nearest beach to take a selfie, only to fly back to Antigua to post the selfie. Post it on social media with a ridiculous caption, aka vacation mode, hashtag I live where you vacay. Boy, Antiguans are some weird people. I am Antiguans. All right. The following confessions may or may not be true based on realistic situations, on fi fictional stories. So whether or not you believe my confessions, that is your business. Ten. I don't feel bad when you call me fat. Sorry, I don't feel bad if you call me fat, but I do feel bad when you call me fat. The difference between the two is a matter of facts, but probably didn't get me as a matter of fact. Nine, I don't like being called short. I am vertically challenged. So don't come on to me, and neither am I fat. I just grow horizontally. Eight, I ate my burger once. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm lying. I'm not one of those people. That's disgusting. Your nose is not a treasure chest. Don't dig it looking for gold. Don't eat your boogers either. Explains why your breath stinks. Seven. I don't like farting in public, but when I do, I do one of two things. One, walk away and don't make it look obvious. Drum roll, please. Two. Look the person next to you straight in the eye and say nothing. Six. I often get accused of being flirtatious when I'm friendly. So ladies, if I'm not nice to you, blame that other, huh? 
on another note, I kind of like to tell women sometimes that I'm gay just to see the disappointment on their faces. Fellas, y'all should try to. Yeah, but just be sure to tell them the truth afterwards. Just be sure, you know, just be sure to tell them the truth afterwards, that you're not lying. <laughs> okay, five, <laughs> five, five, five. If you drink instant coffee, I think you're basic. Know your coffee. And ladies, when I say that I mean that I like my coffee black, I mean it. Don't slide in my DM and say, hey, I like your coffee. I heard you like your coffee black. Can you be the creamer to my coffee? Nah, what did just happen? Nah, be relax. Four. I like giving relationship advice. Especially given the fact that I'm single. It's funny. You get to laugh at their problems. And also makes you feel like a professional at the same time. It's fun at the same time. Who don't like like a drama? Three. All right, this one may probably be everyone's confession. There, there's at least one person out there that you probably don't like. For example, maybe your ex. Sometimes the best thing to do is to buy them a pack of Mentos, not because their breath stinks, although it may be true, and you know it, but because you're nice. And while you're at it, get them a can of Coke because they may get thirsty. Thank me later. Two, I always look both ways before crossing a one-way street. Not because my parents taught me that as a child, but I was taught that in primary school, and my teachers who come from foreign know that Antiguans can't drive. Number one, this one may hurt. I really don't know the difference between Marvel and DC, and I don't care either. I really don't care about Thor's hammer, Spider-Man's web, or Iron Man's suit. I slept through Infinity War and really didn't care enough to see Endgame. Like, honestly, and don't even ask me about Game of Thrones. I didn't even watch that movie, all right? And listen, listen. We exist. We're humans, too. These are my confessions. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was waiting for the tomatoes to start, you know, flying in for some reason. The tomatoes, and I don't, I don't deserve tomatoes. Jeez, that's, that's rough. Rotten eggs. Bring those. Black Panther. What is? Okay, so honestly, what is Black Panther? Marvel or DC? It's Marvel. It's Marvel. Got it. I'll take notes. And I, I, I need to know because. Got you. Got you. All right. Finally, everyone, I want to end off with this half a piece called BNW. BNW is just, a, it's just a, an abbreviation for black and white. Oh, who knew it? Who said black and white? You? Oh, smart girl. All right. Let's get it. Yo. Y'all ready? Smiles are beautiful when you're happiest. Smiles are most genuine in happiness. I challenge you to smile through the crappiness. And even when you don't know what's gonna happen next You owe it to yourself, girl, I know you deserve it May not be photogenic, but God still thinks you're worth it Your makeup don't make up who you are, so please return it There is no need to fix what God already made perfect Last line probably went over your head Ladies, open your mind before you open your legs A lot of people out there, they don't wanna be real You better love yourself, girl, or nobody will A child of a king keeps on wearing their crown Know your dignity before you ever lay it down Know that royal people never wear a fake gown And a crooked smile is always better than a straight frown Yo, got some friends that say that they don't believe in luck Other friends that say that they don't really give a what Got a couple friends that don't know how to make it happen Whoa, alright, let's keep it yeah. Got a couple friends that don't know how to make it happen Sitting back, hoping for their joys to bring them gladness Listen, third world countries facing first world problems I hope you grow content before we learn how to solve them Third world countries facing first world problems. I hope you grow content before we learn how to solve them. Yeah, keep it going. Hey. Go. Mm, let's get it. Mm, right now. Uh, this is for the pain and the weak in heart. If we never love them, when are we to start? I don't know if you are moved when you watch the news. People dying every day. Rest in peace. 
People losing loved ones, people face abuse Don't envy others when you don't know what they've been through Cause having nothing just means that you cannot lose Every struggle on this planet got a sacrifice And every pain we go through has some worth in it It hurts to see my loved ones never acting right It hurts to see a big house with no love in it Freed people have the liberty to prove it It's your life, you either love it or lose it Freed people have the liberty to prove it It's your life, you either love it or lose it I got some friends that say that they don't believe in luck Got a couple friends that say they don't believe in luck Got a few friends that don't know how to make it happen Sitting back, hoping for their joys to make them gladness Yo, third world countries facing first world problems May we ever grow content before we learn how to solve them I said, third world countries, first world problems I hope you grow content before we learn how to solve them Let's go All right Sessions by Sue, thank you for having me It's been great Sue family Tazia you know, the big musicians at the back, thank you for, you know, making my piece what it is. Khan and Chewbacca. I keep saying Chewbacca. <laughs> Ibiko. But, like, it's cool, it's cool. I, 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 Ibiko and Chewbacca, they rhyme, but... All right, all right, all right. We're going to learn today. I'm so excited. All right, thanks for having me.